Welcome everybody to SJU. I'm your host, Billy Business, which means if I'm hosting, we've officially reached the end of the internet. Congratulations. <laughs> this is your pot of gold. It's when you're on Instagram stories and it finally goes. Like, You've seen That's everything. It. I'm done. <laughs> Literally everyone else is like, no, I'm sitting this one out, man. Uh, but I do have my stellar mystery men crew here with me. I've got Cameron Rice. Hello. Vanessa Gritton. Hi. And uh, my heterosexual life mate, Ed Greer. Hey, what's uh, up, guys? All right, guys, today we're talking about something that I really love. These are movie tie-in products. We're not just talking about toys. We're talking about everything that gets <laughs> mass-produced for movies. We're talking oh, no. tie-ins from food chains, yeah. some of the really weird uh, kind of stuff that uh, you wouldn't think they'd made. But they made them, and they produced them in mass quantities for our enjoyment. Not everything can be those awesome Batman Returns glasses from Burger King. Oh, oh. Batman Forever. Remember the... the oh, Batman Forever had the little mugs, but Batman, right, yeah. Burger King had a Batman Returns, some some kind of also like glass, but Batman Forever did have like the little I mugs. Them, like, right. Yeah. I, I think we all had those Batman Forever. Still all, but all those glasses are toxic. Listen, I don't care. Hey, man. So is the Riddler. I'm, I'm going to drink out of his head. <laughs> If I'm getting cancer, like at least I want to know. Like they're like, sir, it was from this cup of beer. Yeah. Worth well, it. Worth it. <laughs> yeah, somebody out there's going. At least this is Warner Brothers cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Better than your shilly Marvel cancer here you got. <laughs> so guys, I don't know about you, probably definitely you, but when you were a little girl, you were like, when do I get to shave? Exactly. Right? <laughs> when, when does all this facial hair, when do I get to practice when shaving? When do I finally get to be the dolphin that I want to be? <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I thought, who better could teach you how to shave than the, a father to us all, really. Yeah. Optimus Prime. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're me. Play shaves <laughs> to teach kids, you know what? The only the best of us can learn how to have a smooth face with our Mach 4 transforming razors. Why is this a pro uh, Look, they're either going for the, the future <laughs> shavers of America or like the most Peter Pan man walking the streets uh, that's like, how do we get a stocking stuffer for this guy who is eternally eight years old? Shave my chest, Sam. Yeah, what are you <laughs> shaving? Bumblebee. <laughs> Lather my face. <laughs> Each sentient being has to shave. Ingrown Heratron. <laughs> Why? So, Star Scream! <laughs> Why is this a product? Man babies, uh, roll out. Like, I guess it's, think, it's an electronic, at least. Like, I can make a jump. It's not a great jump. Oh, no, no, I want to hear I want to hear your A to C on what made this this pitch meeting. Uh, so, okay, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm supposed to be pitching a product. I have not <laughs> thought this through. I, will, I see a trailer. I'm seeing these things going, boop, 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 and it goes into the titles. I'm like, we have electric things. They're electric. <laughs> <laughs> Transform your face. <laughs> Yeah. Sold. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, I think you got it right on the whole the hell dad thing. If my dad was Optimus Prime, he's like, look, son, <laughs> you must you must get all that uh, bio matter off of your face so you think you'll be a true robot like me. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> There's probably some kid who can't get off unless his face is shaved. See, here's the insane thing. Because <laughs> he has to rub it. That's the insane thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna be like, they're not even real razors, and then you were like, <laughs> yeah. What are, what are the odds that there's actually real razor blades in this said transformer? Fake. They're fake. It's a play shave set, so it's to pretend shave. So it's not even a real razor. Listen. You're just wiping you know, cream they, they, off your they face. They get mad at the tobacco company for grooming kids, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> Listen, hey, grooming kids. If little, kid, that joke, that joke. if little kids are gonna have tea parties where they pour non-liquid in the cups, you can have a kid go. Mm. <laughs> well, dude, I just think it's so funny. What's really funny about some of the things on this list, probably, and but definitely this product, little kids 
are so dumb. They want to be adult at all costs. Yeah. Like they, they could be like a, a, a do, do your taxes in a depressed manner playset. You know what I mean? Just like head in your hand, stacks of fake bills around. You know what I mean? Kids play inside the box. You know, yeah. from the toy. They, they just want to be adults in yeah. some fashion so bad. I get it, but here's the thing: if I'm a parent and I've bought my kid this thing, what an epic fail! Because yeah. <laughs> now we know that it's clearly for kids. My kid's putting shaving cream all <laughs> over his face and mm. he's just Ma'am. wiping it off and it's getting all <laughs> over the place for nothing. Let yeah. me tell you right now. If, for nothing. If I'm the kid, I know my parents just went Christmas shopping at Pick and Save. And that's not a hate <laughs> on Pick and Save. I love me some Pick and Save. But this is an item you see like next to those like Larry the Cable Guy briscuits yeah. and stuff like that <laughs> that has like a $2 orange sticker on it. <laughs> <laughs> My God, the like, Barbies his head can't turn. This is like the ultimate dad gift of like, go buy your son a present. You're like, I, I don't know. This is tra- he likes Transformers and have to shave someday. Like this is the this lowest- is how Jingle all the way should have gone. A <laughs> uh, hundred uh, hundred bucks says people in the comments right now are just like they're just laughing too much. This is a slow news day, guys. It doesn't get more newsworthy than this. I had one of those. Yeah, <laughs> I use it every day to practice, and when I do grow mustache, it better look out. It's going to be peach fuzzy as hell, but it's going to be good. Oh, man. Let's move along here because we have a lot to uh, we have a lot to get through. I'm, I'm skipping around here, Ryan, so uh, just uh, w- watch the tempo and uh, try to pick up the beat. All right. <laughs> it's so. jazz, baby. It's whiplash. <laughs> Don't sweat the technique. <laughs> Skip the baby. <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking about things that you can buy your kids. Mm-hmm. And one of the age-old things that has always silenced an allowed obnoxious child is a Happy Meal. You buy them a Happy Meal, sure, it's sure. a built-in toy, yeah, yeah. they're eating, they have a toy, it's two for one. Mm-hmm. So imagine when a, a movie that I actually really love in 1998, Lost in Space, comes around. And boy, this is, a, this is a movie that, even if you don't like it, it's definitely geared towards kids. So you mm-hmm. want to go, oh, you yeah. want to get the Happy Meal, you want to get your little Major Don West, Joey from Friends action figure in there. <laughs> But you're the kid who ends up getting the Gary Oldman plush spider toy. seen behind the scenes features on horror movies and they'll be like, oh look, it's a thing from the thing. It's been oh. sitting in this booth for 20 years. Imagine oh the horror of getting a Happy Meal and this monstrosity oh comes with God. it. So you're, you've got a crying kid with a Gary Oldman spider face, <laughs> his plush torso, but hard plastic legs is touching your French fry. Oh, I can see that. Yeah, that plush, that plush body. Yeah. And then these... Like <laughs> That's something you straight just give to the dog the second right, you get yeah. home. Like, oh my you god! Like, you're like I didn't order king crab. Like, oh, what is yeah. this thing? That, Why that thing, did they make this? That's a horror uh, show. That's, that's horror really show. bad. You know. <laughs> I've thought we've strayed far from God before, but in good ways. <laughs> <laughs> like chicken fries. <laughs> Let me I'm okay with that. <laughs> I've heard the man shouldn't meddle argument, and maybe this is the quintessential. Look, I, I, I think it's fine <laughs> if you want to make a Dr. Smith toy. Sure. This is this is horrific. Well, that's, also, like, that's like an H.P. Lovecraft creation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but th- this is this is sad because it's also like the textures are wrong. Like the, yeah, we're talking about the the hardness and the softness. Like I, I can't even cuddle with it. I don't want I don't want an exoskeleton. <laughs> they want you to. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like a teddy bear with an exoskeleton. It's yeah, disgusting. But it's also so gross. look on its on its purest face. It's also a major spoiler for that movie. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, just in general, Actually, like yeah. what a spoiler toy. That's literally the third act. That's what he becomes. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh man. So good for them. Good for them. Let's stay on the theme here of uh, of fast food because. Uh, that's not the only fast food blunder we have here. Guys, if you thought Crab Leg Oldman was a weird thing to get in your Happy Meal. My, my favorite Netflix show. <laughs> <laughs> it's a BoJack Horseman spinoff. Crab Leg Old Oldman. Man. <laughs> Have you ever just wanted a burger and you thought, this doesn't look like it's molding enough? <laughs> How about the Star Wars Black Darth Vader burger? Uh, this one. <laughs> oh, no. 
So this was man versus this was, food, indeed. <laughs> How many this people like went to the doctor instantaneously? <laughs> right. This is the saddest byline too. To celebrate the re-release of the 3D conversion of the Phantom. <laughs> <laughs> now that right there is the funniest the fr- thing. The French fast food chain Quick unleashed a dark, not Darth Vader, a dark Vader burger, which was a normal burger that had the bun dyed jet black. Do so, you remember what followed this? I don't. No. Sadness. No. <laughs> <laughs> Intense stomach cramps. <laughs> there was weeks of people panicking about this because they didn't realize it. But um, oh, is this the oops all, oops all berries? It's an oops all berry situation. Science, children. <laughs> okay. Black food dye, black bun. Your doo doo turns green. Mm, why, why not black? Why, why green? Because it's one of like the uh, it's one of like the base dyes used to got make it, black. Kind it, of okay. like how certain blacks fade to like purple. One of the base dyes used for this burger is green. So everyone's doo doo turned green, and they all <laughs> freaked out. Yep. Uh, <laughs> it was, you could still find articles of people like reporting in mass. <laughs> I'm pooping green. People having uh, over on ra- over on rape my poop. <laughs> <laughs> they sift themselves. <laughs> also, <laughs> I sift my pants. <laughs> this is the best and worst SJU we've ever done. It really is an oops all berries, though. If you ever want to feel yeah. like a unicorn. So, uh, all right, what's oops all berries? Does your poop like blue or purple? Does it really? Yeah, <laughs> it's the Captain Crunch that doesn't have the crunch. It's just the berry part, and uh, it, it, it turns it purple. Well, who said we weren't going to get some movie broccoli today? I <laughs> I can have unicorn poo yeah. from all of these <laughs> you're, you're, all tie-ins. <laughs> you're basically doing the squatty potty poop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, look, we've been talking a little bit about poop right now. Uh, it sounds about on brand. And what better pants to poop yourself in than these? Are these real? I don't know if this is real. These are the tie-in, the 300 Spartan briefs, <laughs> which is literally just leather drawers. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know what? You know that, that looks like the backside of a tortellini. <laughs> 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 like a ravioli. You know what I mean? It's like, that's nuts. Literally. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> Ravioli's done. I mean, who is the market for the? I guess it's like Fit for the men, for the college, like college bros that saw oh, 300. Yeah. I mean, right. I don't know about you guys, but like at least in my college, every dorm room of a guy of the guys had a 300 All poster All somewhere. It. it was 300 in Fight Club. That was it. Oh, yeah. Those, those were the two posters. Yeah, they so, were screaming about, release the Fincher cut, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't know if these are real. I want to live in a world where I think they're real, because they also double as a really nice just like, you know, for like an athletic supporter. Yeah. Like if you're playing yeah. sports, yeah. you're kind of, you got to build. I don't know, man. Well, well, dingle. Depending yeah. on the material, you might go to Chafe Town real quick. That's true. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you think that's actual, genuine leather? or genuine, like, Even if it's pleather. Pleather. leather. <laughs> Genuine patent leather on your nethers? That's awful. Yeah, I'm sure washing that is quite the ordeal. You don't Ugh. wash that. You wear it one time to try and save your marriage, and then it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> and then it goes to goodwill. <laughs> Sits on that shelf forever and doesn't, doesn't decompose for thousands of years. It's a family heirloom after that. <laughs> Dude, I, I, somebody bought a secondhand one of those, and I'd like to no, talk to that person. No, no, no way. You cannot Craigslist your 300 Spartan leather underpants. <laughs> Never that worn, I swear. <laughs> Barely used. <laughs> <laughs> Sniff them. It's like a Hemingway. <laughs> Spartan briefs never worn. <laughs> <sighs> Guys, we could be on this all day, but we're going to move along. Uh, this this also has to do with muscles. Um, I like this a lot. Have you ever woken up in the morning and you just feel too good about yourself? Oh, yeah. You need to be smacked down a peg? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you ever just thought, man, I wish I could wake up and just be instantly reminded of how little physical activity I actually do? Well, I've got the cure for you. It's the Thor Dumbbell Alarm Clock. What? <laughs> for those that have ADD and have to have multiple, I think this is the ultimate multitasker. You need to be reminded to wake up in the morning. You 
also need to do your lifting so that you can look like Thor, which by the way, I don't believe alarm clocks or dumbbells factor into the plot of Marvel's Thor whatsoever, None. if I recall correctly. And so this isn't an in-game product, like to get back in shape? <laughs> <laughs> I can almost see that, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, good thing I'm working out with my uh, my new dumbbells that tell me what time it is so I know how long I've been lifting. <laughs> I don't know why he turned into a pirate. Oh, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's, 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 a, that's a pretty good Thor. I think it's pretty Thank good. You. I also don't know if a alarm clock should be round in any way, because like, usually with an alarm clock, you're trying to like, you know, kind of like yeah, find it in your right. sleep. I don't want to have like, and are there actual weights in it? Like, is it an actual, or is it just the shape? Because if there's it, weights in it, I don't want that falling off, like, my dresser I, it, smashing the floor. If there's a weight in it, it's probably, like, half a pound. It's for tone. It's not for, right. for gains. Yeah, like, hey, if you, want, if you want a better workout, put D batteries in it. <laughs> I can't roast this because I bought a shake weight. Oh, oh. Vanessa. Why, why, what, how'd they get you? What happened? I was like... Cool, I can sit and get upper body strength. <laughs> it does not seem like something I would buy. Listen, no, oh no, that's not shocking to me at all. But my point is, you can also sit at the gym. They have things you can do that are particularly sit worthy. <laughs> The shake weight. I don't want that shake weight get used, by the way. Anytime someone sees it and then they do the, I was about to do the motion and then I just remembered gifts are a thing. Yeah. (laughs) You will be photoshopped into some some guy wearing the 300 panties. (laughs) (laughs) Previously on that (laughs) (laughs) Don't put me right in the in the danger zone. I'm right on the tortellini. (laughs) (laughs) That's like previously on SJU. I was like, dum dum. (laughs) This is the first time I've cried on (laughs) you. Guys, you know what else makes people cry? <laughs> but it doesn't have to. Death. Because it's all coming to us in one way or another. Yep. It's just, uh, it's inevitable. We're all going to die. But you know what? If you're going to die, die in style. Mm. I say you get buried just like my good friend Spock in Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan in your very own Star Trek coffin. Go where no man, or actually every man and woman, will go before you. Eventually. Uh, I I know that this is not the only licensed casket we were talking before. <laughs> no. I'm a big Kiss fan. Obviously, the t-shirt I'm wearing today. Uh, I collect a lot of Kiss merchandise, and they did the Kiss casket, which also doubles as a cooler for your drinks until you die. Nice. <laughs> that is Aww. 100% authentic, and it's signed by the band. Has Kiss ever made a love gun? Like an actual firearm? Yes. Um, there's. <laughs> well, give, we it, give it time. I mean, <laughs> I mean let's, let's I work out this you, product. I don't think you understand what that song it's is. The, it's the Homer paint gun. gun. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's a caulking gun for dudes who like to rock out. <laughs> and they're Spartan. <laughs> <laughs> That's what kills you. <laughs> so here's the thing that I don't get, not just about the Star Trek coffin, but just like themed mm-hmm. coffins in general, which I guess is a, yeah. a lucrative market. That's very intricate. Like, it looks really cool. It looks really intricate. That thing's going in the ground, and yeah. you put, like, that's thousands of dollars that you're just going to dump dirt on, it's, literally. It's and for your homies, right? It. It's not for you. You're dead. It's for your yeah. homies, like, at the funeral. Yeah, right? that's, that's like, a what, gift. What, what a very expensive sight gag for, uh, like, <laughs> Hey, man, if, you're, if your life is all bits and memes. <laughs> <laughs> and dude, and, but also, this thing about, like, okay, they're supposed to carry that, so, like, what true blue Star Trek fan has enough friends with enough upper body strength to lift that thing <laughs> <laughs> and take them anywhere? Man, you get I, some Klingons. Those are real nerds, yeah. man. I want the Kiss coffin, but as it's lowered, I want like like a like a trailer remix of Rock and Roll All Night, but very somber. Like he rocked and rolled all oh, night. night as I'm being lowered down. Like, body never <laughs> that, that, that part still rocks. Burst open <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, oh, so take a dip in the Mountain Dew fountain. <laughs> the Undertaker like painted my face <laughs> as he prepared my body. But it's like, why did he pick Peter Chris? <laughs> yeah, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just see your, your mind popping out? Just the pyro on each side, just like. Yeah. 
<laughs> and your hands are in the devil horns. Like they're t like I guess fishing line did the devil horns. I guess it just would be so weird to like recreate like the whole Star Trek Wrath of Khan like Spock death scene at your but so, I guess someone would do it. I would right? do that for someone. Like, I'd, I'd, I'd be I'd, of all the SJ hosts we had, she was the most human. And then we just yeah. <laughs> shoot you out. I just I was, pay for Christiality to do cameo. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yes. She just handed out Weight Watchers to everybody. And so I was like, yeah. I'm going to do a TikTok to prove I was here. <laughs> a cameo. <laughs> Yeah, do the cameo. Oh, God. But no, but yeah, but I, I would respect this if full garb Klingons come to yeah. grab you up. That That's it. 100%. Full, full garb Klingons. Your service is in Klingon. It's like an hour long <laughs> and just Klingon. What, then, a, yeah. what a great troll to, to go out on. Mm -hmm. Just troll all your friends and family like, yo, we're doing like a traditional Klingon uh, death ritual. Speaking of inappropriate Ugh. death, uh, we're going to skip ahead a little bit here. You know, there's there's uh, one of my favorite movies. Actually, my favorite movie of all time is Apollo 13. They call it a successful failure because uh, they didn't make it to the moon, but they did make it home safe, uh, hmm. uh, preventing an ultimate tragedy. Mm -hmm. But guys, we now have the power to undo that success. Mm -hmm. Failure is an option with the, and I had this, choose the fate of Apollo 13, choose your own adventure book. Because... Oh, no. <laughs> nothing says... It should say, Houston, we have a problem, question mark. All right, Houston. <laughs> do we have a problem or not? Or is it also? <laughs> Turn to page 38 if you think we do. Turn to page 17 if you think we don't. But any, like any good choose, any choose your own adventure, you go to, I don't, you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This was a, um, so, uh, like I said, Apollo 13, my all time favorite movie. Uh, shockingly, not a lot of merchandise when you're a kid. Uh, really? <laughs> Toys R Us, not really like a Apollo 13 Jack Swaggered action figure that you could just uh, <laughs> pull off the aisles. But they did have like some books, and some of them were like the making of the movie, some were historical. Ooh. And then my grandma, um, God rest her soul, she had exhausted all Apollo 13 merchandising options, so she bought me the Choose Your Own <laughs> Apollo 13 adventure. It's so bizarre. You are a, they literally stole the plot from the series finale of Family Matters, where you are a kid that invented like gravity that gets to go up with them oh. on uh, the Apollo 13 mission. So we're Wait. already like in a weird Watchmen history yeah. of Apollo oh, 13. Oh, you're talking about some Mary Sue. <laughs> you're smart enough. You're like yeah. Wesley Crusher. Like for some reason you're in a spaceship. I've always thought Urkel was a Mary Sue. Yeah. <laughs> once the, once well, they moved Steph him on. to CBS, he, he was yeah, very yeah. Mary Sue. Yeah, yeah. Stefan oh, definitely was. He, um, he never failed. So so it's very strange because, yeah, failure definitely is an option. You can definitely, like, I, I don't know. There's something very strange. I mean, I was telling you before we uh, went on the air, there's also, like, a choose-your-own-adventure Titanic book. Like, I, we can't <laughs> Man, do, the 90s were a wild time, we man. We can't do choose-your-own-adventures for, like, historical. I just feel like that's that's really gross and wrong. Yeah. I, yeah? No? Uh, I, I think it's super gross and wrong, but also, like, it's just hard. Because no, <laughs> nobody takes into account all the different sorts of people you can be yeah. and the, the different survival rates. Like, I'll play the Titanic game, as long as I'm in upper crust, dude, I don't want to be shoveling coal <laughs> underwater yeah. while the band played on, you know what I mean? Banging on the fences, <laughs> trying to get out. That's pretty trash. You're an Irish dad. You're like, yeah. <laughs> that's like, that's like, that's like golden eye. it's like respawning, and, you're, and your friends have already set the proximity. Like, Come on, man. Oh my god, every page is just kind of like, beg for help. Yeah. Beg for help. <laughs> watch, beg for help. Watch half-empty boats go on as you wait. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> 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 yeah, there's some, there's some really bizarre. Shit. Like, honestly, there's, there's just so like you wouldn't do a choose the fate of Private Ryan book, you know? Oh my God. Oh like, wow. There's just certain, certain <laughs> well, yeah, historical. Yeah. You, you start out as one of the four brothers, <laughs> and in different ways they die. Like, oh, you're the one that died on this one. Sorry, <laughs> nobody's coming to get you. Nobody cares. I don't know. Did you guys ever like? cheat with choose your own adventure books like all the you, time. Would, yeah. you would just start reading and be like okay I like this one I have to now work backwards to figure out how I could potentially like, get, get to this yeah. outcome yeah it's proof that man wants to be God <laughs> <laughs> and we saw what happens it's called spider old man that is what we get when we play God yep. uh, but you know I don't have a segue for this next one, except this man has a godly body, and if you've ever wanted to put his godly body in your mouth, 
You can. I'm talking about the James Bond, Daniel Craig, ice popsicle thing. Oh. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Han was frozen in carbonite, but they took his shirt off first. <laughs> He's like, why? <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, it seems like it's great. I can get behind that. It's like, why is your tongue okay. purple, young agent? I was second on the taste of lollipop. Second on lollipop from down by the taste of freeze. Um, 006, that was not your mission. <laughs> Here's why I want this. Oh, please. For a please. lot of reasons. Other than the fact that I will make everyone uncomfortable by eating this and maintaining eye contact and not blinking. Um, <laughs> for hours. For hours. It like, I, it will be... Just, <laughs> it looks... It looks texturally and like the shape of it and flavor wise exactly like this popsicle I was obsessed with as a, as a kid called Mickey's Parade. Because they had and a shirtless buff Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> with a Yo, V, he had the V. Imagine what that would have done to me. <laughs> <laughs> it was like Mickey and Donald. You put him in your mouth. I'm ripped. <laughs> 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 it's it's like Mickey's Parade, but if you're like. Yeah, it is Mickey's Parade. <laughs> They put a hole in it, so as you suck it, it makes whistling noise. <laughs> it's not even like the weirdest of the things you could put in your mouth merch, because I remember the Star Wars prequels had a Jar Jar Binks lollipop. With his where, tongue, yeah, right? So yeah, so it's Jar Jar Binks' mouth looking up, and then he <laughs> opens his mouth, and it's his tongue, and it's like covered in like It's like a fruit by the foot, yeah. Shit, <laughs> and you have to like... French him oh. to get to the and I had it. Oh. Listen, but if you gotta suck on anything from Jar Jar, you gotta, you just gotta, you gotta stroke his ears like hair to get him, to get him ready. Oh no. I think the, the Daniel Craig thing is weird because, first of all, like no kid's gonna want this. That's that's just <laughs> off putting and bizarre. Two, mm -hmm. James Bond, like I don't even know what scene this is from. Like, I think that's why the would beach, you put him, I think it's the it's beach scene from Casino Royale, Royale where he's walking yeah. out of the water. Okay, I get, like, unless this is clearly marketed towards adults, and maybe it was, but I don't want to put, like, it's too detailed. Like, I feel like That's I need to, like, ask Daniel Craig for permission to violate <laughs> the sanctity of his of his being by putting that in my mouth. I'll tell you this, though. If you didn't say that was James Bond, if you just put that on the yeah. screen, I'd be like, oh, company, it's a... A candy company in the UK did a contest as to who is the most lickable... British. Wait, can you just come on? Because I don't think anyone can oh, hear sorry, you. Yeah, we, yeah. Have a, we have a random uh, Joe so, Sorry, fight. I think uh, just for weirder context, okay. like a, I you. believe like a, <laughs> like a treat company in the UK, uh, I believe they're called Puddings or, uh, across the <laughs> uh, uh did like a contest. Is like, who is the most lickable? Oh, yeah, I'm for like, a national person they wanted week. to lick the most. And, uh, and this one. Man, I was trying to give this the benefit of the doubt in terms of, like, <laughs> maybe this was just ill-conceived. No, I this was I mean, this was born in perverse... Uh, well, that's my thing. I was going to say, like, if you did not tell me that was James Bond tie-in, I would have been like, oh, it's a sex toy that melts. Well, it's... it's, it's <laughs> that's what it looks like. Pull it up! <laughs> you said it just like me. Pull it up! <laughs> So let's talk about uh, another another tie-in that probably gives children the wrong idea. When I when you think of adult entertainment, uh, one of the first movies that may pop into your mind is the Fifty Shades of Grey teddy bear, uh, or the movie. The teddy bear should not be the first thing that pops into your head. <laughs> You've heard Who is of this for? You've heard of Build-A-Bear? This is called Break-A-Bear. <laughs> oh, God. So this is, this is from the copy. This is from the copy. Um, made by the Vermont Teddy Bear Company, according to the promotional blurb, quote, this bear is supposed to leave ladies biting their <laughs> lips with excitement. <laughs> but I mean, how does this bear man, make you feel right now? Between this and the mass Singer, we're having like too much of like, that animal's kind of sexy. Right? <laughs> okay. I felt the Goofy movie thing and the Space Jam was like me being weird as a kid. No, but I now... wasn't. Because I, like, again, I, Roxanne, Goofy, hot. Right, uh, Lola. Lola. Hot, the the fox from uh, 
the, the, the Robin Hood hot. You know what's a big yeah. one that people forget about? Honestly, is Balto. Balto? Because hot. The, dog's Balto, hot. the girl uh, dogs in Balto, they gave them like more pronounced. Jenna? Yes. Jenna had yes. the pronounced, and she had the scarf, and she had like that boy. She, Jenna was like, cute. No cleavage, but a very clear compared to the male dog. I don't want to kiss this bear. <laughs> <laughs> who is this bear for? Kathy Comics. Uh, the ladies who want to bite their lips. <laughs> Not even the person. <laughs> Just a <laughs> <laughs> Real, that's what she says after she bites her lip. <laughs> dude, dude, the only way this would make women excited is if there was a million dollars inside. <laughs> you just sort of unzip the bag and a million dollars comes out. Yeah, does this, this bear offer you a contract? How, <laughs> but like, how many kids got this bear because like their grandma innocently thought he was like a police inspector or like the Green <laughs> Hornet or something? With the, <laughs> <laughs> and the little hand comes like, oh, it's the Green Hornet. It's, 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 got it. a, it's got a little panda that, <laughs> that next to it that kicks all, all the blood. It's like the Kato bear or something. Yeah, yeah I'm not oh. mad at Inspector Bear. <laughs> the yeah. layers of not understanding what is sexy behind this. Because, like, already, mm. like, Fifty Shades is like, all right, I get why that could be hot to you, but for a lot of reasons, like, ugh. Uh, and, and, and then... <laughs> <laughs> Not even like a bear where it's like surprise! It comes with a blindfold that you can use on someone. Yeah, oh, yeah, it, yeah. No. It's just in his little paw. It's a blindfold <laughs> for your other bears. <laughs> <laughs> also, ah. they got to get that suit fitted if you want to be a sexy guy. Yeah, that's it's yeah. a little. It's, it's a, a little, little frump. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's like me in 2007 going on a job interview. <laughs> You went to the Goodwill to buy a suit jacket. <laughs> That's my Burlington coat suit. <laughs> You'll look good, I guarantee it. That's my someone's warehouse. <laughs> build a bear. <laughs> Guys, uh, it would be very disappointing if you were a kid and you got this as a gift. You know what else would be very disappointing? Is if you're like, oh man, you know, one of my favorite my favorite movies is Rocky, and I'd love to have some toys of Rocky to beat up my other action figures. And your grandma says, I'm gonna get you a Rocky rocky action figure and uh, much like jingle all the way this was the only rocky action figure available <laughs> <laughs> the meat listen you can tell me that's rocky that's texas chainsaw massacre <laughs> <laughs> this, oh uh, this was from jack's specific line of rocky action figures and, he, and one of the figures quote unquote contained a toy of the meat that he uses as a punch bag in the free that's it that's all you get you, you get, get the coat you get the <laughs> you get, you get a bloody coat. coat yeah you get Polly's bloody coat <laughs> what weird like Dexter kid got this and was like, yeah, this is the one I want. Honestly, I would have loved this. Really? What would you have done with the meat action figure? It's literally called the meat. I know. Look, it's in stars. Like it's one of the fighters. <laughs> what would you do with the meat? Uh, mm, uh, <laughs> like you said, Texas Chainsaw. It definitely would have like starred in something gross. Cause like I had the Jurassic Park toys that had like the meat chunks that came. Oh out yeah, of it. I oh yeah, those. the yeah. dinosaurs. Exactly. Yeah, they, all had little, they had the yeah. meat that came out of it, so that would have been part of my carnival of carnage that my I, little dolls created. I don't think there's a single. Cause a lot of us had those Jurassic Park dinosaurs. I don't yeah. think a single one of us knows where the piece of meat is to this day. I have so many dinosaurs just missing chunks of their body. There's some T2 toys where it's like the front of the Arnold came off. Right, I don't yeah. know where that is now. <laughs> Do you think there's some guy on eBay who just sells like Terminator and dinosaur meat for, for, yeah. for completists? Huh. Oh, and He-Man swords that you lost behind their neighbor's <laughs> yeah. house and just yeah. like Mr. I'm Accessory. Um, Probably. Guys, there's another action figure. This one came out uh, a little bit later, but this uh, this will haunt your nightmares more than a Gary Oldman spider. Oh, this no. is the Ian Grufford, <laughs> Mr. Fantastic. Fantastic with elongated neck. I no. hate it. Oh. I hate it. <laughs> Have oh. you ever just wanted your index finger as an action figure? <laughs> oh, dude, he, he looks that like, looks like <laughs> my index finger. <laughs> dude, he looks like he's trying to kill John Connor. <laughs> he just got blasted. I mean, that's that's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, put it together. Oh, yeah, put, yeah. It put, put it together. Put, put it over the thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is. Uh, <laughs> look, I, I like the Fantastic Four movie. I think it was fine for what it is. Yep. 
nobody wants that. You know what I it looks like? I don't think Ian Grafford wants that. No. You know what it looks like? Have you seen From Beyond? Mm-hmm. It looks like the little wormy thing that comes out of that dude's head in From oh. Beyond. It looks like, a, did you see Men in Black, Men in Black 2, where Johnny Knoxville had the head? Yeah. 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 And that's yeah. what it looks like. And this is, this is the, oh, officially no. the third thing we've seen on the show that looks like something from The Thing. Yeah, a lot of these toys have a very John Carpenter right. uh, Listen, feel to them. Let John Carpenter make the Fantastic Four. <laughs> It's just all body horror all day. Yeah. My rocks are Honestly, falling into the toilet. Not to not to tangent too much, but that's why I was starting to get into the 2015 Fantastic Four because mm-hmm. they're like, what if this was a body horror? And then they just abandoned it literally halfway through that. Yeah. Movie. I feel like they should have just given it to Cronenberg. If you want to make a Cronenberg movie, he's there. Call him. Call him right now. Uh, <laughs> so we've seen some action figures that, like you said, they look very carpenter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they look carpenteristic. Uh, they look like the thing, but you. You know what? Sometimes the opposite is just as worse. Something that they make that is too lifelike that should never have been made. Have you ever wanted to get the deluxe edition of Andrew Garfield's Amazing Spider-Man 2? Because did you know you could buy it in the form of a case with Jamie Foxx's Electro head oh, storing it? Oh, no. I see this, this thing. This could be on your shelf staring at you as you try to watch Netflix right now. That's what you, you have that thing staring at you while you're using your Fifty Shades Bear. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> While you're lifting your Thor dumbbell, yeah. Jamie Foxx is just coaching you along. On your Daniel Craig. On your Daniel Craig pop. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never want to. I never want to kiss again. I, <laughs> I what a one-two combo. I never want to engage like in anything. This looks like the worst. Again. Like like uh, what is the what is the elephant Christmas game? White elephant Christmas um, game. This is oh, like worst. just the worst gag gifts that you would. I mean, the movie by itself is is pretty horrible as oh, a gift. Yeah. But then to like spend the hundred dollars to have Jamie Foxx's terrible blueberry electric head <laughs> just sitting on your shelf judging you all the time. Like look at him just fake stare into your soul. Why would I anyone just, want And, and this? also, why wouldn't they just make a Spider-Man one? I mean, I, I, no diss to how horrible this is, but <laughs> <laughs> but like, I, sw- I want to keep my DVDs inside Spider-Man. That's better. That's what you would assume it should be. And it would be easier to do the mask of, because it's a mask, stupid, and it's in order insane. to make them. It's better than the Dane DeHaan Green Goblin, right? It's all <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with fandom, Ryan. You put that fandom graphic all the way back down. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, we're all fine. <laughs> well, that tells me that we should probably wrap this up <laughs> because Ryan's losing control of the helm. Uh, <laughs> 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 That is me giving myself the wrap it up cue. <laughs> Guys, I have saved <laughs> I have saved the best um, question mark. I've a saved bunch of question marks. something for last. We've talked about a lot of things that, for better or for worse, very inappropriate very. things that you probably shouldn't give a child. Mm-hmm. Things right. that you probably shouldn't sport around the house. There's just no way that this could have been misinterpreted, and I'm talking about. The human centipede necklace. I want it. (laughs) I want it. You know, for bat mitzvahs, for uh, that fancy night out with the significant other. This necklace uh, looks exactly how the characters in the movie are attached. It's uh, it's actually the diagram that uh, the doctor himself drew. Yeah, um, yeah, it's uh, borderline could call this a screen use prop. I um, my birthday is February twentieth. Um, I don't have a very <laughs> thick neck, so just about any size works. Um, I would give everything I have for this. Why? Why is this a thing? I, Who, why? Why would you wear this? For me. <laughs> <laughs> but you're gonna you're gonna have to explain yourself to so many people. Like she won't. Oh, if what, people what know her, she won't. Charm? <laughs> Anyone that knows her is gonna be like, yeah. Yep, hundred percent. That is exact. Yeah, it's like, like the anti-conversation piece. It's like this is why you're not gonna talk to me. Right. <laughs> if you know me, you know this is my Tiffany necklace. Like, <laughs> I think you wear that necklace. Maybe you try to get the bear's suit and you go on a job interview. Well, you got, and just put, see put, what uh, Diamond studded GI tract <laughs> <laughs> along. The, you know, yeah, just bleed it out. <laughs> <laughs> the suit, and the necklace. Oh boy, uh, I don't uh, I don't know when this episode is dropping or if it's dropping. <laughs> um, this might be bad for the internet. Right. I don't know if this is uh, you can rush out and get. 
get some last minute gifts, you're welcome. Go or, to uh, pick and save. <laughs> if, you've got, if, you, if you have some uh, gift certificates or gift cards now you're trying to burn off, well, we've just mm. given you a whole lot. I don't know how long this has been, but it feels like this is the appropriate time to call it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, you really can't top the human centipede. No, that's, uh, guys. You can't top it. You have to. Yeah, full sequence. <laughs> you gotta go full sequence. I knew I was gonna set you up for that. <laughs> this, this was 100% uninformative. Um, we salt nothing today, and I had a damn good time doing it. Yeah. Ed Greer, uh, Vanessa Gritton, Cameron Rice, Billy Business, happy holidays. Go on eBay and start buying some weird shit, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, <laughs>